The demo isn't the only way the NCAA Football 13 team gets feedback. Recently, they had an opportunity to visit the campus of Stanford University to talk X's and O's with head coach David Shaw and his staff. So, Coach, I mean, our game goes back with a history of Coach Walsh. Just as you go back with a history of Coach Walsh, tell me what it was like to play for him. Playing for Bill Walsh it was special because every day you walked in, you got chills. And I played for him for three years, and it was the same thing every single day because he was going to say something that was unbelievable. Every day he would stimulate our intellect to say, okay, you know what? We're going to be as tough as anybody, as physical as anybody, but we're going to try to be smarter than most. Getting that spot to be the head man, you know, kind of get that chance to, to be the guy calling the shots at your alma mater. Tell me how, how that's been. I got into coaching and, you know, you're just trying to survive. But the other thing that you do is you think about what, what's your ideal? You know, what would you love to do? And kind of off would be, you know, maybe if I'm head coach one day it would be great. Maybe if I'm the head coach at Stanford one day that would be great. But you kind of put that in a jar someplace and you, you put it away and you think about what you have to do to survive that day. And I, I've relished every single day and I try my best to make sure that we're the best team that we can be today and then try to be even better tomorrow. You guys want to check out our Hall of Fame room? That'd be great, yeah. All right. Of course, the uh, Jim Plunkett Heisman Trophy, uh, which was uh, very well deserved. And Jim Plunkett's a big part of our program still to this day. So of course, this is the uh, famed uh, Stanford Axe, which is a symbol of our of our game against Cal. It was stolen back and forth a bunch of times and then hidden and stolen and hidden a bunch <laughs> of different times. So if this glass is breached or someone tries to break in, the ax will actually drop down to the basement into a vault. The EA team and the coaches hit the film room to break down Stanford's extensive playbook. With one of the most complex offensive systems in college football, Stanford utilizes a power running game to effectively set up their passing game. First one we're gonna show is uh, what you guys call spider two Y banana. Coach, if you could just kind of walk us through what it is you guys are reading, who's the first read. This play is made to look like our strong side power play. Quarterback reverses out, fullback goes to the edge, tight end steps down. You wanna sell the fact that you're running the ball here, but you wanna make sure when you do pass, what you're doing here, you got sound protection all across the front. If he has any protection problems, it'll be in his face. He's got a halfback that's going to help on the edge. But any problems, he's got that fullback as his quick outlet. Are you always going to slide the, the protection away from your back? <clears throat> are you, you know, are you going to cross key your backs? There's a lot of different things that you can do. But defense coordinators certainly look <clears throat> at the offset of the back. A lot of the formations will look the same to the defense as they get ready to defend. And they, a lot of times they're thinking, is this going to be a run or is it going to be a pass? You want to make sure that the quarterback his backside is protected, meaning away from the side of his primary read. So the left guard here, as you watch him, as he starts to go, we would never do that. We're going to tell the left tackle in this scenario to kick for the widest. The reaction that that Sam linebacker made, is there any way that your AI guys can you know, make it more realistic? That's actually what we're actively designing out at this very moment. One of the things I really appreciated is uh, the complexity. What we have to do is put defensive AI logic in place so that when that uh, defensive end or out Sam backer sees this tackle or tight end, whoever, inside step, so he's thinking cut off. So he's going to be like, okay, well, I got to get inside. That's where my responsibility is. I thought that was really good. And it gave us some insight on how we're perceived and how we are we looked at, but we also love the input that we gave as far as being able to try to make it as uh, real experience as possible for the users, for the players, and for our guys, uh, it was a great experience. Touchdown, Stanford! 